Everybody knows what twerking is. Yes. It's got a bad rap. Well, to those people, we say... You are twerking. When you're shimmying, you are literally releasing trauma, releasing, releasing stored emotions from your hips. I'm so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a positive. Fire it up, baby. We out here. Studio Net Positive episode 96. 96, 96 bro. 96. We're 90 coming up. Cinco. Nope. Shoot. Uh, Garrett has nothing. Uh, 96. Yes. 96. Mm -hmm. 96. I've been on that uh, Babel game heavy. Crushing. Oh, John Chris in the studio. Alex Lagos is here. Andrew on the twos. <laughs> and... <laughs> And uh, Cinematics, live in the studio. Hey. Yeah. No, Mikeless Cinematics. Mikeless Cinematics. Uh, Garrett is our um, part-time contracted uh, videographer. And today, our in-studio audience. Yeah, we're shooting some videos this morning. He said, yo, let me come through the pod, I bro. can't wait for the video to go. We, out it. It we can't announce it yet. It looks so good. No, nah, we can't announce it yet. It's yeah. going to pop. Yeah. That's going to be a pop. We'll see. Yeah, it'll pop. We're just high. Well, I, say, I say we're uh, high because we're just coming back from shooting video. It's a creative high. Yeah, that's the best kind of high. Yeah. You can't be mad at it. You can't. You can't. Let me think. If you get high, I'm trying to think what, what kind of jobs that people get high from. Mm. What what job? What's a top tier job to get high for? Obviously, if you play like if you're a NASCAR driver, like sports, just anything. Got to be high from yeah. that. What about like a like window cleaners, like on the side the sides of the skies? You're like we're going to work. Like anything you're... that you have to kiss your wife and say bye. Yeah, like right. that's you get high from that. Yeah, for sure. Maybe going to like a uh, oil oil working on an oil rig. Yeah, sure. How about the guys who climb the cell phone tower antennas? Oh, to change the light bulbs. Yep, they got to get high mm -hmm. to change the roof. <laughs> Yeah, no, they, they do. The, yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Who gets high at work that you're like you can't be mad at that? You're like, well, we need somebody to do that. Who gets high? Yeah. Wait, are we still talking about? No, get high like get a get fun a, high. Like, yeah, just like it. a like a. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're still on the same page. What's the what? <laughs> an, a high that you're like, yeah. Any, I mean, I was at the um, NASCAR race on Sunday. Right, those guys getting high. Yeah, getting high for dude. sure. But that's their job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any athlete. Yep. I mean, I remember before I was a comedian, I worked in sales, mm -hmm. and I would like sell like a fifteen thousand uh, dollar like a agreement. I got small high from that. Wall Street. Oh yeah, Wall Street. Yeah, those guys, those one. traders, they're getting high. They're getting on it. Oh yeah, the top ten list of jobs that you get high from. Yeah, Wall Street's a good one. Yeah, uh, any kind of yeah, like um, suits. It, like lawyers? No, the the show. Oh, the actors suits. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, actors. Yeah, actors would get high. I would think so. Yeah, any kind of performance based stuntmen for sure. Window washer is a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get high from that. Oh yeah, because you're like, I gotta go to work, but secretly you're like, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I'm rappelling <laughs> off a building. Today. I gotta go to work. Yeah, yeah. Any type of yeah, artist probably getting high, and then you're done with work. You're like. Anyway, all that to say. Speaking of going to work. Speaking of going to work, uh, we work in this weekend in Mobile, Alabama, sold out New Orleans. Or was it New Orleans? Hmm. Depends on who you ask. Uh, Houston, Texas on Sunday, Royal Oak, Michigan on the th uh, 7th and 8th. Uh, one of them sold out. One still has tickets. Then we go on to Fort Wayne, I think sold out, but still may have tickets. Peoria, Buffalo, Toronto, Erie, Durham, North Carolina, Macon, Georgia, Chattanooga, Rochester, Minnesota, St. Paul, Duluth, Minnesota. I used to grow up near Duluth, Georgia. Mm. Uh, San Jose, California, Santa Rosa, and Redding, Dayton, Ohio, Lexington, two shows. Lincoln, Nebraska, Des Moines, Grand Forks. I wonder how they named that city. Charleston, West Virginia, Baltimore, Newark, New Jersey. That's like the New York City area. Uh, which I'll be in next week. Mm. But uh, in June, I'll be in Newark, New Haven, Connecticut, a city I've never been to or mm. toured in, Portland, Tacoma, and Spokane, Washington, baby. There you go. Speaking of working, mm. my body's working. Sure is. I tell you that. Better than ever. Seamless transition, AG1, baby. Get that drinkable habit in your system and get high. 
No, <laughs> <laughs> no that's the, what a tagline. Uh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I always think about the guys that are like in charge of the ads. They just listen to the ad. I go, no, you got to listen to the whole episode. They're like, we don't, we, we sponsor a thousand podcasts. <laughs> They're like, yeah, that's not my job, well, sir. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, we just said, get age. You want to get high. Yeah. No, it's in context. <laughs> Uh, taking care of your health isn't always easy, but it should at least be simple. Mm. That's why for last year I've been drinking AG. We've been more than a year. Yeah, have we for more for sure more drinking than a year. AG one. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, somebody at the airport today. I said I look good. That's probably why. It's got to be AG one. Uh, just one scoop mixed in water once a day, every day it makes me feel energized and ready to take on the day. Uh, that's because each servant AG1 delivers my daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics, and more. It's a powerful and healthy habit, and also powerfully simple. Mm. That is true. Uh, I do the AG, AG1 in the mornings with uh, ice. Yep. What do you do? I do it with just some cold water. Straight up cold water. Straight from the fridge. Wow, yep. dude. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they just put a little powder in there. That's bop, it. Bop, Shake bop. it up. You're ready to go. Yeah. Uh, what is everybody else doing? Drinking tea? <laughs> no. What? Doing a whole thing of, uh, no. Yeah, whole thing. Yeah. No, no, no. Nah, get on the AG1 game, baby. Uh, healthy aging shouldn't feel complicated. No, it should not. Thought of taking multiple supplements. Everybody's saying, what about this? What about this? Are you doing this? I go, here's what I'm doing. AG1, baby. Elevate your health. The AG1. Uh, if you want to take ownership of your health, start with AG1. Try AG1. Here we go and get free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and 5. AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash net positive. That's drinkag1.com slash net positive or hit the link in the episode description below. I came in here and Garrett came in here with me and they were like, wait, you've already been up? Yeah. I go, yeah, dude. It was a little surprising that you've already gotten after it today. Really? And done a video? Yeah. What do you mean that surprise? I don't know you to be a, a morning guy. You Are you just wake up and come in here? I do. At ten? What? Uh, uh, depends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what time? Yeah. What time do you wake up? In the morning? I'm trying to support AG One. I'm just saying I've been up early. <laughs> sure. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Although that's a different kind of alarm. Whenever your alarm goes up, your alarm goes off for golf. It's not as painful. Ah. Uh, if the alarm goes off to make a video. It's not yeah. as painful as the alarm goes off. I got to get a flight. Yeah, it's a it's a gentler wake up. Yeah, and that's why that always works against me because I'm I'm late for some things a lot. Mm -hmm. And my girlfriend says in a loving way, mm -hmm. "You ever been late to golf?" <sighs> that's like a mom comment. <sighs> that's a very motherly tone. I have in fact not been late to golf. Of course not, ever. Right, early for golf. Right, I got to get there early, an hour early. I yeah, practice. Of course, I got to get on the range. Hit the Honey. range. Get some range balls. Get some work in. I gotta get in there early. Dude. Say what's up to the guys at the clubhouse. Yeah, I can't just go out. I got yeah, I can't just go out late like no, that. Of course, gotta not. be prepared. Yeah. yeah, you ever been late to golf? Hmm. Well, what had happened was, <laughs> uh, let's see what's going on. I got been to the NASCAR race. Yep, unbelievable. I went to Costco yesterday. You saw a fantastic finish there too, oh, didn't unbelievable you? Unbelievable finish. Yeah. Crazy NASCARs. I mean, three wide. Oh, you know what that means. Yeah, only because I saw a clip. Watch the clip. Yep. Oh yeah, three wide of the finish is wild. Usually Crazy. one car, three cars going to the finishes. I mean, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. race. People that aren't into NASCAR. I mean, it was. If you go to that race, you're like, oh, is it? Is this what they're all like? Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. We're going next week. I go. All right. They're not all like this. You got a special one. Unbelievable. All the wrecks. All the all the popular drivers up front. Like 47 lead changes. That's what you want. Wow, that's crazy. Not to dog on F1. Well, actually, two dog on F1. It's a lot different than F1. It's just one guy gets out up front, and then that's it. Mm. And you just watch them. That's opening up this weekend. Is it? Mm -hmm. Where in freaking Monaco or somewhere non-accessible? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Bahrain. Yeah. <laughs> not accessible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come with me to Bristol, Tennessee. Yeah. And we will we'll accept you with open arms. <laughs> uh I was in Costco. I went to Costco yesterday. Lovely. To get some stuff. Always an adventure. Always an adventure. I didn't have my card. Oh. I know. I forgot my card. But I walked in. I just walked in confidently, but then I forgot you have to have your card to keep check out. Right. I go, oh, yeah. No, yeah, they, they still got you. So I got all the stuff, and I was like, well, let me And then they go, where's your card? I go, oh, I don't. I have a membership. I just have the card. So I had to go get the card, and then I had to wait for, like, a replacement card. Is it, like, are, do you, are you ever, like, if you're in the airport or if you're ordering, are you ever cognizant of, like, there's other people behind me in this line? Always. You are. For sure. Or if you're at an intersection. Like, yes. your nightmare. If you go into the intersection and you block it. Yep. Oh. Panic. Yes. Immediate panic. Okay. Does everybody have that? 
No, they they can't based how on their behavior. How do you not have it? <laughs> based on how, how some do you people not act, have it, I, dude. I don't know. Like in public, you're like everybody's getting on this like escalator, or everybody's anything. Yeah. Everybody's doing anything, mm -hmm. and you're like, I want to like go like go along with like if you're if I was doing a thing that, at the cost because I had to go wait in line and. and I was just going insane because you're would, holding it up because you don't have the card. No, I was no, I was. Hey, I just need to replace my card. Here's my ID. I had it ready. They're like, here, do that. You're good. My, it. I, it took a minute. Yep. The guy in front of me was like, he's like, well, what are the benefits of like three different credit cards? And I was like, we're not doing this right now. <laughs> yeah. We can't. Like, if I had those questions, I'd be like, I'm gonna get off to the side, right? Look them up. There's 20 people in line. Yeah. Or anywhere where there's a line. At the airport, we just went to the airport. You go, oh, shoot, I didn't put my ID back in my wallet before. And now all the things in front of me on the conveyor belt have gone, and I'm holding it up. TSA is one of the biggest ones for me. I, where I'm like, there's a process here. I need to make sure I am like, okay, this goes up, this goes up, this comes out, this yeah. goes out. And then I go through. I have a little break, and then once I'm through on the yeah. other side, same routine. Everything back in. Yeah. Back in the back of the And you're not fast line. because they're making you go fast. You're no. fast because of other people. For sure. And the same with getting off the airplane. Yeah, I've never understood how don't some people don't stand up don't when it lands have... like a psychopath. Yeah, yeah, but, don't do that. That's but, another but one, though. If you, Standing if up when it lands. everybody's trying to get out, and you're like yeah, going in the thing for the thing. Yeah, the, and the best thing to yell from the back of the line when someone's yeah. doing that is, Hey, your world. On hey, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other, no one else is here. On you. We're just hanging out. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. All the time you need. So the scale, the one to, the one to 10 scale of like, oh, so you don't even <laughs> yeah. know, like, he could not have known that there's 10 people in this line. I, I mean, I don't know if I should respect it or hate on it. Yeah, great point. Because one, on one hand, I'm like, you're so annoying right now, and I yeah. know how much I stress to not do this to people, yeah. so you should feel guilty about and it. And you don't. But on the other hand, it's like, wow, are you that mentally strong? But he, yeah, he waited don't care? in the line, and he has questions mm -hmm. about the credit card. It's what they're there for. Dang. Whose like side he, are you? Uh, I don't know whose side I'm on now. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. You know, like that's the whole purpose of it. And if you, on the airplane, let's say you have your hat and your computer you've been working on them and your uh headphones yeah and you're like i need to put all these in my bag yeah before i get it out and go and he's just like no even thought that there's 75 people that have connecting flights nope none it's my time to shine i, I gotta ask the questions i gotta get my answers i, I waited might, in line i might respect it i no. think i re i think i respect it <laughs> i don't know I don't know. What a turn of events. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think I respect it because I think if I really break it down, I'm only mad at that guy because I know that I could never do that. I couldn't either. And so I'm, I'm kind of like, ah, you're just, what? you being strong and secure What's that is like? exposing my insecurities yeah, it's, as it's, I look it's at a, you do it's it. It's a looking in the mirror. Yes, for sure. I can never do that. Yeah. I, we got the, <laughs> we were in uh, it, McDonald's the other day after a show. So yep. me, Mandel. And Caleb. Very low stakes scenario. Low st and Just a McDonald's. But a bunch of people in line. This right. is And this is one o'clock in the morning. Sure. You're grateful that it's open. Yep. I go, and Mandel's ordering like a McDouble with no onions, mm -hmm. which I'm already like. Oh, because he modified the order already? Yes, That's a lot. Yes. <laughs> okay. it's, already, it's already like a, a modification. I'm going, I'm going to need a number one with a Coke. Yeah. And then I, we pull up and I go, hey, guys, whatever is in this bag, we're taking. Yeah. See, I'm the same way. Because you go there, it's one o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and there's t ten people in this line. Right. I'm not. If you, if it, if that has onions in it, mm -hmm. I'm not going. Hey, mm -hmm. take this back. Yeah, do it again. But yeah. you, you pays, ordered it. You paid for it, and it's one of those places where you can order that. Mm -hmm. You can, of right? course. No onions. Yeah, of course. You can order Taco Bell step. with no sour cream. And if yeah. you got home and it had sour cream, you're bummed because you hate sour cream. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should. I, I think they're right. I think we are just realizing oh, we shit. have room to grow in that area of our lives. Then we I go, have to. no, I'm. <laughs> the guy at McDonald's is going to be or girl. They're going to be working regardless. Oh, girl, like... oh, girls in the kitchen, dude. That's what no. we're doing. Oh, wow. Oh, early Andrew, minus. Out. Early minus. Out, dude. Early minus. But they're going to be working either way. It's not like if they if you go fast Great for point. them, they get off at 
one fifteen. They're going to be there till three either way, and you're not going to be inconveniencing them. I just don't want to show up on like a Reddit thread mm. of of anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, anytime you're on a Reddit thread, it's not good. Yeah, it's not good. I struggle with this for sure. My wife does not. She's she very doesn't. good at being like, "Hey, this actually is not how I ordered it. Can you fix it no, for me?" No stress. I get like. <laughs> I get Gosh. anxious watching yeah. her do it. And like, I've tried to apply it, but it's hard. It's, it's really, it's, it's really uncomfortable for yourself. For yeah. Yeah. It's really weird. I this goes would... under the category of like things that you're embarrassed about that we shouldn't be. Yeah. You, you can't, you can't put your computer in your bag mm -hmm. after you've been on a th three hour flight. Mm -hmm. before, it's going to take, I mean, go fast, but you should be allowed to do that. Yeah, of course. Dude, I even like, if I'm at the bar and I'm going to order a drink, yeah. my card's in hand. So is mine. Immediately. So is mine. Just to be like, hey, as soon as we're ready to do this transaction, I'm ready. Yeah. Say the word. Okay. There. You know what stresses me the most is uh, uh, having your tickets the, on your phone. Oh, yeah. Ticket master. Same. They go, before we get out of the car, yep. get them. Yep. Get them up. Yep. Get them in the, in the wallet. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to wear the, and then everybody's like, Dude, what the, and then yep. you're, I don't want to be that guy. Yep. I don't want to be that guy that some guy gets on his podcast the next day and talks about it for 20 minutes. Dude. <laughs> Just to realize it's actually our oh, own insecurity. It's me, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe we should work on that this week. The call is coming from inside the house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, no, yeah. We can work on that. Let's work on yeah. that. Let's make a, an agreement to work Something on that. Something that I'm going to stand up yeah. and go, no, I paid for this yeah. flight or membership or... Yeah. If you going into the bank and just asking questions about, I need to, I need to withdraw a hundred bucks in cash or something. The guy in front of me is asking which checking account is best for my, and I'm like, yeah, but you should be allowed to do that. That's what he's there for. Or, you know, you know what's a good example for you? Yeah. The analogy of golfing. Yeah. When someone's on your butt. Great example. There's a happy medium between yep. letting somebody play through or. I've let three groups play through. I paid for this round of golf. Yeah. I'm going to, they just have to suck it up. Yeah. Our team is also, playing a yes. little bit slower. Also on your at flex country club. Yeah. I am a member here. Mm -hmm. I pay to be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For or, sure. but you anyway, pay a premium yeah. to be there. A lot, yeah. You, I'm going to, I'm going to. I paid ninety five dollars to play this round of golf. I'm not going to let these people behind me stress. I'm going to line up this putt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, let's but work. We always on this. get mad at the guy that does it too much. But you're gonna know the line though, because you already default the other way. We so already, you'll I, know. Yeah, before we pull you into the McDonald's, yourself. I go, "Hey guys, whatever comes out of here." But yeah. if you are allergic to, <laughs> if you're allergic to sour cream or onions right. or whatever it is, your night is ruined. Yeah. yeah. For me, it's pickles. Anything, if, anything with pickles ruins the entire plate of food ruins for it. me because yeah. the the juice gets everywhere. The smell itself throws me off. Gosh. I'm like, but I often That's will it. not say anything about it. I'll just you got I'll, a Chick Fil A sandwich, no it. pickles. Yeah. Whoa. Really? Yeah. You do too. And thank, oh yeah, and thank, <laughs> that's, that's, that's insane. insane. Yeah, and thank God they Garrett pay attention plus to one. Yeah, 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 plus yeah. plus Garrett. No Mike. No Mike. Yeah. Plus one. That's yeah, it. No you pickles. Say Garrett says that's. I went on. I went have a mic on you, so you can't hear. But you say it's insane to ask for no pickles. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. You like the pickles. I like the pickles. Oh, fair. It's not insane to me to ask for pickles. It's okay. not insane right. to ask for no pickles. All right. Well, I do know that if you, I used to work at Chick fil A, and if you ask for no pickles, they have to make it fresh. Mm. I do know that. They got to, otherwise, your sandwich is sitting. It could be sitting. So, y'all been eating stale sandwiches minutes. for years, and I've been eating oh, the fresh shoot. stuff. So, yeah. who's Yo, wrong now? You got to take out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's an interesting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it this week. Yeah, let's do that. that down. Stand up for ourselves. Oh, <laughs> hot, set of, hot set of news. One of my favorite things. That, that happens with the show is when uh, you're on your way to the studio yeah. and you text oh. a bunch of notes <laughs> that you've taken throughout the last week the since clips. we last saw each other. The clips. And when it's a long list, oh, yeah. I get a little bit like, oh, yeah. I get a little giddy. Here? I'm like, oh, let's What's go. And that's here? what happened today. We got a couple of them. Dude, well, a couple. And a shout out to the listeners, by the way, because even our even last week with the, uh, the baby names, yes. that was probably our biggest clip ever. Yeah. One of the biggest clips in the history of the pod sent in by someone uh, in the DMs. Yep. So shout out to the listeners. Most of these come from the listeners. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have time to scour the whole internet. No. Actually, we do. We do. Yeah, <laughs> but we do, yeah. but uh, where do you want to start? Oh, man. Let's get to the let's get to the man leaves wife at the airport. Okay. This is an unbelievable social experience. We're speaking of the airport. 
And we got audio on this so we can hear it. True. Right? Yes, we do. Here we go. A husband boarded his flight and left without his wife when she insisted on getting Starbucks at the airport after he said they didn't have time. In a Reddit post, the man explained the situation, saying that he and his wife were flying to visit his 21-year-old daughter, who was away at college. The husband said he's very type A and hates to be late, but his wife, who is his daughter's stepmother, has a very different go-with-the-flow type of attitude. The couple managed to make their first flight on this particular journey, but the connecting flight was another story. They got to their terminal and had about 15 minutes before the next leg of their journey but the wife insisted she wanted coffee and the husband offered to get it from the market right next to their gate she insisted however on going to starbucks which was nowhere near their gate he told her they did not have enough time but she went anyway without him as the plane was boarding this husband called his wife four times to ask where she was she finally answered on the fourth call and said that she was on her way back to the terminal and that the line at starbucks was exceptionally long the husband went ahead and boarded the plane after the gate agent said they couldn't hold up the flight he full-on left his wife behind. He told her to get a full ticket on. for the next flight and that he'd see her when she arrived. When she finally arrived at her stepdaughter's school, this wife had nothing to say to her husband, and after a week of the silent treatment, she finally told him that he was wrong and shouldn't have boarded the plane without her. Right, but stop. ultimately... <laughs> There's a lot here, bro. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot here. Oh, this, every couple mm -hmm. is is like... Your blood pressure goes up when you hear the story. Yeah. Because everybody This is every couple. And sometimes it's not it's not gender specific. Sometimes one person or the other person is the late one. For sure. Yeah. Okay, so let's go through this. Who which one are you? Yeah. Okay. Let's... I'm the we're we're on time guy. And mm -hmm. Liddy is the I'm gonna go to well, Starbucks. Let's not <laughs> We don't have to name the hypothetical yeah, characters. Well, yeah. We could just stick uh, as premise. Uh, let me think. <laughs> If this was going to happen, it would be I was like, um, we got to go, and she was going to get coffee. Yeah, yeah, she would, she would own that. Yeah, yeah. You guys, I'm, I don't know about leaving my wife at the airport, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm definitely in the camp of this husband. There's coffee right here, being like, hey, yeah, beggars can't be choosers. We got 15 minutes here. We knew this was going to be tight. Yeah. Also, back to our like, yeah, we got to go yeah, type yeah, thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. we knew when we booked this, it was going to yeah. be a quick turnaround. So yeah. like. You got this 15 is minutes. all on the thing. The fact yeah. that there's coffee right here is a miracle. There's coffee Take right here. Take your miracle coffee. Yeah. And this is a layover too. Yeah. So I've, 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 when we go late to church, when we're late, when we're on time to church, it's hard to find a seat. Yes. So when you go in 10 minutes late, there's, it, or you, it, 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 everything's, you're like, we cannot be late. Right. Because it's going to be a nightmare. Right. So, if you go, I'm gonna wait here. You, you, he can't hold the plane. Right. It sounds like he tried. Yes, he tried, and he called her four times. Yeah. To say, hey, we gotta. But do you get on? That's the. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I couldn't leave her. I would. I couldn't leave her. I You'd would. leave her. Yeah. Wow, sure. dude. <laughs> no. I couldn't leave her. That's crazy. To leave. Yeah. To say what if there's another flight in an hour? I guess, but that, I mean that's. <laughs> <laughs> I also think the okay. key, one of the key words here is uh, she's the stepmother. She's not. She's not the of the daughter biological mother. Oh. So it's also like we're going to see your kid. He's done this once before. Like he's he's had a relationship. He's been married once probably. And, and this, this is why this is now. <laughs> yeah, this is why you know what I mean. <laughs> so, so like you got to use some context this clues here. Why? Like, hey, I'm over one. Yeah, he might. He, this might be his second strike. Yeah, this is why I don't. Yeah, yeah. The second one left after he left her at yeah, the airport yeah, too. Yeah. Still, yeah, she left with another man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the uh, <laughs> leaving is crazy. I think it's funny that she she needed it to be Starbucks. Which tells yeah, me she's yeah. a big time Starbucks drinker. Yeah. Which tells me she's gotten Starbucks at the airport before. Yeah. Which tells me she should know that there's always, there's always a long a line. line. Yeah. Where are you going? At with every Starbucks in every always airport on earth. Yeah. <laughs> so like yeah, you everywhere. have to know this is gonna happen. But what do you mean this extra long? Yeah. It's yeah. It's, it's regular long. long. Yeah. It's long. Yeah. It's Starbucks at the airport is a long line. Yeah. Yeah. And there's coffee right here. I res I respect coffee people needing their own coffee. Of course. I get that. Of course. Now having no like now they now a plane is one of the things that earlier they're not going to hold it for you no but I, when you walk on last of the plane it's not a thing because either the door's open or it's not right. if you walk on last they're like congratulations you made it yeah they're not we're not waiting for they you. might high five you on the way in yeah hey nice like, good dude. you yeah, made it you got it so but having no having no whatever the thing is in your head yep. that goes we got to get to this flight here's where I'm okay with it that's great if he says 
Oh, you want coffee? Let's see if there's some right outside the gate. Oh, yeah. look, there's some right there. Yeah. Have that. She says, I'm going to Starbucks. Yeah. And he goes, I'm leaving if you're not back in time. Yeah. Then I'm okay with it. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Because he told he her four, what was going to happen. He called four times. Yep. I mean, leaving is crazy. Leaving is crazy. Bro. I did that one time in college. And the girl that I was dating was like, I, like we were going to a party. And mm-hmm. I was like picking her up in front of the sorority quad at seven. Swag. Is that a flex? Well, yeah. Uh, You're in a car. Yeah, that's a flex. Yeah, flex. Maybe. Nice, nice. In a purple Volvo huh. 740. Yeah. Flex, dude. Yeah, let him, let him, let him cook, dude. <laughs> purple is crazy. Uh, I think it was called plum or something like that. Sure. It was definitely purple. Yeah, some um, Swedish color. <laughs> and it was raining, and I, I think I waited till like 7, like 10 or something, and then I left. Now, it, it was never not talked about for the rest of college. Right. They're like, I can't believe you did that. I was like, I'm at the party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was my buddy Lane. Yeah. I got, I'm at Lane's house mm-hmm. at his apartment for the party. This is her calling you being like, where yes, are you? Yeah. Yes. And I left. Yep. But I was like, I'm not doing it. But you can't. And now I'm in. A, you can't do that. I think that's a little less. Uh, less stakes. Less, yeah, lower stakes than, than but, this is too. But all right. So, all right. <laughs> Leaving her at the, Leaving airport at the airport on a layover. Crazy, so it's also dude. in a city that's not yours. No. It's just some random city. You're not at your city or the destination right. city. Yeah. You're in Milwaukee. You're, you're nowhere you need to be or want to be. <laughs> Leaving all, you there. Okay. Well. This is nuts. Dude. After okay, what if? Mm-hmm. What's your take if you stay mm-hmm. and she runs back? Yep, the doors closed. Yep, you're sitting there. Yep, that's ending in divorce. Also, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing if that happens? Well, it's my daughter. That's the thing, and not her daughter. Bingo. So I've been like. That, to be honest, that, it's a major factor. That's huge, man. That's a major factor. That might even sway it for me. It, yeah, because I go, well, it's we're going to, we're going to my family Christmas or her family Christmas. Yep. It's it, it, it matters. Where were they going? Uh, who knows? Was it a college I mean, graduation? Yeah, visit, no, they're going to visit. Just going to visit. Visit the college, right? Yeah. I, I mean, that to be honest, that might have just changed my mind thinking of it that way. Because she doesn't want to go. Right. She doesn't want to go. Mm-hmm. Well, how long have they been married? That's a great like question, a too. Stepmom, for sure she doesn't want to go. Right. But she can't say, I don't want to go. But she goes, Hey, and you know, if they got to get there, it's parents' weekend. They got to go take a tour of the nursing facility. And the, the, the dinner is that night. She's like, we, We're not going to be able to make it to the tour, right? The QA at the sorority house, but we'll be there for dinner. We missed a layover. That matters. It really matters. Yeah, that does matter a lot. And it's like because of a coffee, that doesn't. That's not gonna. The, the daughter's because, not gonna know that. Because that. of a coffee preference is what you're missing. Like that, you know what I mean? Like yeah, that's it. That pr- just because you rather that one over this one. But that's that. That speaks. Very, it's like me being late to something. Way late to something. You're like, you just say you don't prioritize this. Yeah. Yes. Just then, that's fine. Yeah, your actions are speaking so loud <laughs> yeah, right I now. I never late to golf. I know you don't need to go see. I've never, never been late to golf. <laughs> never late to golf. <laughs> never late it. to golf. Yeah, it's it's not it's not her. And and listen, does the does the girl in college like the stepmom? Probably not. No, she's probably her age. Dude, that's <laughs> a weird shot. I guess. Sorry, <laughs> she's probably her age is crazy. I assume. <laughs> Your second marriage, you don't go older, right? Like and you the go sec- young. Yeah, that's the, how the that mom goes. doesn't like the girl. No, she doesn't. No, yeah, they don't get along. So it's almost like maybe he, she wanted him to go. Ah, uh, I'll meet y'all there. She, she's you, like self sabotaging here. You guys go have father daughter time. Yeah, take her around the campus, see the quad, look yeah. at the fountain, go yeah. to the cafeteria. I'll meet you guys because I need my venti mocha double cold foam. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, I'll meet you guys there. Yeah. And then when you get there, oh my god, girl, mm-hmm. we made it. Yeah, oh we my god, it. you'll never believe what happened. They left <laughs> the plane, left me. Oh well, wait, how are you gonna try? <laughs> we don't have to stay on this, but how are you gonna justify he got on and you didn't <laughs> right. on a layover? Right? Yeah, that's yeah, tricky. Right? That's tricky. That's tricky. Yeah, dude, that's I a love good one. That story. Anybody that times it, anybody you kind of want, you kind of want. When you're ready to go, mm-hmm. you go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, like you do something that's like kind of a jerk move. You're like, 
I'll be in the car. Yeah. Or something that you're not, you're clearly done getting ready. Everyone knows what those types of statements mean. Yeah. You don't stay watching TV. You don't, you go, you're like, I'm going to go in the car, turn it around, bring it out front. Yeah. So now we're on the countdown. Mine is, uh, I'll meet you downstairs. <laughs> okay. That's we're getting dressed in the bedroom. It's like, I'll meet you downstairs. Then? Meaning, meaning, that means I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> meaning I'm ready to go. Yep. Cabs you- are here. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Pull the car around or wait in the car is like. I'll go warm up the car would be a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Whenever we're at a social event and say, I'm going to go get the car. Mm -hmm. That means, hey, it's the valet. I got to. Yeah. We got to. That means wrap it up. It's going to take some time. Come on, dude. That one's (laughs) perfect. That's a good one. Uh, Where do you want to? Let's get the. I want to hit all of these. I do too. so good. Go to. uh, Yeah. Go to the second one. Yeah. Here's a video. Right, this is a. Uh, here, we'll decide: uh, is this real or is this fake? Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of videos on the internet, as have all of y'all, mm-hmm. as has Garrett. Mm-hmm. We're gonna watch this video and we'll decide: is this a real or is this a sketch? Here we go. Okay, day two in Disney oh my today. God, we are in the most magical place on earth. Please stop! Please stop! I will put you on a plane today and take you home. I do not want to hear it. Please. We're about to go to a character breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Her face, dude. Real or fake? Oh my goodness. Real. That's real. 100% real in my book. That's real. Yeah, I think so, man. Andrew? Real. I'll go real. Has to be real. I think it's got to be real, man. Here's why I think it's real. Yeah. I mean, that's if you, if, if I suggested to do that bit, that is also a very funny bit. Yes. And it's perfectly timed. Yes. Perfectly timed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because he's screaming at the kids. First of all, it looks like they have a they have a the joint rooms. Yes. Right? Yep. And it looks like Flex. Yeah, either the kids, the kid, there's cartoons on in this room. And the bottles are in, in the, the, the kid's stuff is in this room. Right. So either the kid slept in here or the kid slept with the parents. Or there's a third kid that's really young and it's in their room. In that room. Mm-hmm. Good point. So she's trying to be an influencer or whatever <laughs> she's trying to do, right? Yeah, I'm guessing. Based, based on the shirt choice, yeah, definitely <laughs> trying to be an influencer. <laughs> Video podcast for those listening. <laughs> yep. Checks out. Okay. So she's trying to be an influencer and yeah. then he loses it. Yeah, on the kids, and he they must be dad screaming. And, yeah, but he says uh, this is why I think it might be fake because he says the perfect line. Yeah, we are in the happiest place on earth, the most magical. We're in the most I've, magical place on earth, dude. I've made this video. <laughs> the, every parent at Disney, the bit, like yeah. my biggest video of all time. It's yeah. this. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's, kids, get in here. We're not having chicken nuggets, fl- like shaped like Mickey's ears. You don't eat a ham sandwich. Yep. This. Yep. I will put you on a plane, <laughs> take you home. I'll put you on a plane. <laughs> I'm staying. And then, you're flying home. And then, I will put you on a plane and ship you back to wherever you came from. I'm going to the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Yo. We got a character breakfast. But everybody knows when dad says this, because this has been built up. Yeah. This has been building since they woke up. Yeah. Yeah, and the kids are just losing their minds. Dude, this is only day two. No, oh, this is day two. How many days they got? He's yeah. got to be over on his bedside, like putting notches in the wall, like yeah. just trying to get to the end of the trip. He's at this definitely, point. he's definitely trying to get coffee to miss that plane. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, to try to miss the the uh, trolley, just to have two hours just of silence. Not even uh, thirty minutes. <laughs> this is when the guy he's like, "Hey, babe, I need to run back to the car <laughs> to get the." Oh, the pacifier? Just purposely forget. I got it. I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> but the end, the ending is, play it from right there. The ending is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. I will put you on a plane today and take you home. I do not want to hear it. Please. We're about to go to a character breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> she said we're about to go to a character breakfast. <laughs> Not if dad is something dead to say serious. about it. She's dead serious. Yes. And I was hoping she like wrapped it or went back into what she was saying. Yeah. And I love the what I love about that so much is he was he 
he's getting it from all sides. Yes. Because she's trying to be an influencer. Yes. Like, can you imagine going to Disney? This guy has this guy has 10 PTO days a year. Mm -hmm. This is this is half of it. Yeah. And the other half is it it her family's Christmas. Yes. So he has none. Yeah. He would rather be at work. None of the days are, are his. None of the PTO days are his. Yeah. Paid time off. They're all they're all here. Yep. Wife is doing too much with the top already. He's like, are we, we're going to Disney with, all right. I paid for those. No. Okay. That's unnecessary. I did. <laughs> oh, you meant the rooms, right? Yeah, the you rooms. meant the rooms. I paid for, pay for the rooms. I paid for the rooms. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I paid yeah. for the rooms. Yeah, for sure. All, all my, all, all the extra, all my bonus this year uh -huh. went to both rooms that are big. Right, um, right, right, right. So now we're just sitting here. Come on. And then she, he's getting it. He's like, imagine going to the, we got all the kids. Uh, food, right? Right. You got the corn dog, you got the chicken nuggets, you got the grilled cheese. And he's like, finally, these kids are going to shut up and eat. And she goes, babe, can you go ask to get a photo? And he's like, he's taking it from all sides. Yeah. She's trying to do influence. Like, hey, let's go to uh, the small world. I was like, no, I want to go to the... Uh, uh, the backdraft because I told uh the influencer that we're gonna do a collab on this post and I have to be at Harry Potter Land by twelve thirty mm -hmm. and he's just he's if done. he if he has any if he voices anything it's it's not received no by the kids mm -hmm. by the wife by I gotta go to the bathroom I gotta uh can we sit down can anything no this is his last resort this is, is I'm gonna raise my voice. And it's so, all I have left. And he got up too early because they got him up. For sure. Way too early. No doubt. Wait, he's up wait, He's up at six. Yesterday was a travel day. They're exhausted. Park doesn't open till nine. Right. They're in there going nuts. Yeah, kids are up at 545. So how many times has he said be quiet before this? Too many. <laughs> this guy's in the worst reality maybe humanly possible. <laughs> it's got to be. Too many. <laughs> when dad goes enough is enough and raise, when dad raises, because that's scary. Yeah. Dad puts his foot down. Is that's like, scary. Ooh. That was always scary. Okay. Was that, was that scary in your house growing up? When dad. Oh, yeah. When it's, when it's going down, it's going Yeah. When dad says, mm -hmm. hey, that's, yeah. Your mom ever say, like, just wait till your father gets home? Yeah, dude. It's terrifying. Yeah. But when dad, you, it, it also takes more to put dad over, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. But dad's, but dad's 10 of 10 is. is the, watch the, out, man. It's zero or 10. Right. Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah. hey, kids, be quiet. Kids, can you turn that down a little bit? He's trying to watch. He's checking on his gambling. Yeah, of course. He's checking on sports scores. He's got big money on DraftKings. Yeah, because he's got to pay for <laughs> the rooms. Yeah, both rooms. <laughs> yeah. The twin rooms. <laughs> Whose side are we on here? I'm on dad's side. Yes, I'm yes, on dad's side. Dad's Go ahead, side. man. Go off, King. I want to pop see. off. We got to figure out who this girl is and what. What? Well, I mean, we don't. We probably should. But. <laughs> I think this is their joint account, actually. Gosh, so they they run so it together. Good. Is it big? Kind of. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, half a mil. Well, that's that's what put them on the map for sure. Oh, she's doing a lot of influence. No, they things. kill. They do crazy views. Eight and a half mil, eight mil, eleven mil, ten and a half mil. They do. All right, it's fake then. They do big big views. Yeah. You it's think fake. so? Yeah. It's my fake. It's yeah. also joint. Well, what? if it's. It, yeah, because that's gonna run. If it's up fake, the then that means that they got the kids in like involved. To you do think it? they told the kids, "Hey, make noise! Dad's gonna come in and yell at you." It's not real. Yeah, that's a that's a step. We had to do. We shot a video. Uh, parents on the way to uh, church. Mm -hmm. Me and my friend Beth, and yeah. there's we had two infants in the back. But I mean, maybe five and three or something like that. And we had to like, all right, I'm gonna yell at you, but it's. They didn't understand. Mm -hmm. They were like, what? Because <laughs> the mom was there. Right. And I was like, all right, I'm going to be like, you got to be quiet. But not they didn't understand. No, they don't yeah. know what acting is. These kids do because their parents are influencers. You think so? You really think they fake this? It's fake. Yeah, it's got to be fake. Yeah, uh, hold on, let me watch it again. In the spirit of Disney, I'm going to hold out hope that it's real. Let's watch it again. Okay. Okay. Day two in Disney. Oh today. God! <laughs> We are in the most magical place on earth. Please stop. Please stop. I will put you on a plane today and take you home. I do not want to hear it. Please. Nah, bro, this is real. We're about to go to a character breakfast. It's not real. I think this is real. It's not real. I think this is real because of the ramp up of his... <laughs> Everything like, is it, so perfect. It came. It just came to a point where he could not keep it inside anymore. <laughs> Uh, you're just as real as the rooms. Nice. <laughs> hey, 
get this man a mic. Garrett said it's just as real as the rooms are. Nice. Why did see? Why could I not get to that? I know. Why could I not get to that joke? I don't know. I didn't have it. I couldn't. That's unbelievable. The rooms are real. No. Okay. <laughs> We're done with this. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I won't piggyback off that. We'll we don't know. If it, we don't know. We're just gonna leave it. We'll just leave we it there. Know. Speaking next? of speaking of real or fake, mm -hmm. um, is this girl sincere or not? Uh, hey, we've all been at a party. We have all been at a party. We've all twerked before. Well, <laughs> we haven't. I haven't. I have not twerked before. Listen, who is this for? Uh, this is for girls in sororities. Mm -hmm. People dancing at parties. Yeah. People at, at, on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Jason Aldean's. Yeah. I was at the Juvenile concert um, last week. Nice. A lot of twerking. Okay. A lot of... Uh, uh, when, when, when your hands are on the floor. Yeah. That's... It's too much. I don't... I don't that's a special the, level. Why your hands on the floor? Yeah. That's a different level. Mm -hmm. hey, but everybody... Everybody knows what twerking is. Yes. And if it... Yep. And it's... It... it to, uh, it's got a bad rap. Not a bad rap. Does twerking have a bad rap? I think there's there's some people who would say it's a it's not classy. It's a problem. Yeah, it's yeah. not classy. It's gone too far. Yeah. Well, to those people, we say this. You are twerking when you're shimmying. You are literally releasing trauma, releasing releasing stored emotions from your hips. When you're bending your knees, you're crouching on the floor. You're connecting to earth. You're connecting to the womb. You're yes. restoring your energy. So I started to realize that as I was doing this, I was healing myself through all of these generations of collective trauma that now we know with mm. epigenetics is actually stored within our Genetics, systems. Nice, nice. And I realized that twerking, shimmying, undulating, shaking truly is a spiritual practice. And now I share it as much as I can. So when you are <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> when you are undulating, oh, oh, I'm so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, dude. How come? Why are you mad? What do you mean? You're healing your trauma mm. was like the first thing she said. She said by twerking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm just a... not real. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Stretching. I could see maybe saying stretching would help with whatever she's trying to heal. Yeah, but twerking's not gonna heal your problems. It's a spiritual practice. You got a lot of trauma built up. Yeah, you know, people have gone to therapy. Yeah, people have. Uh, um done ayahuasca right done a mushroom journey yep people have uh maybe um talked to their parents mm -hmm. written a letter mm -hmm. went to rehab yeah done some soul searching right. read the bible get yeah. to church mm -hmm. why wasn't this option available for our healings yeah getting connected with the womb yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> twerk she's <laughs> hey there's a lot of people epigenetics epige yeah you can't drop epigenetics <laughs> on us and suspect us just to blow past that do you want to know a really easy stop sign to realize if something's just total garbage what if somebody starts just listing synonyms oh yeah <laughs> that, yeah 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 twerking gyrating yeah undulating vibrating just, shaking just shimmying saying the same thing over when and you're over doing and over. all these yeah. things it's like no that's one thing you Those just said <laughs> one thing and yeah. you repeated it yeah six different ways yeah you're gonna get a uh, what is it? Look up this. Uh, there's a dopamine, and there's like five other ones. There's like what do you want me to look? At? Uh, uh, what are all the all the good? Uh, what are the, what's dopamine? Yeah, dopamine, serotonin. Look at all the, the list of all. When you get dopamine, serotonin, epinephrine, it's like that guy's podcast. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah, all yeah. that. You don't have to look it up. It's yeah. like all the. Yeah, you feel but yeah. All of them? Yeah. Yeah. When you... Okay, you're just listing things. Yeah. Now you're just listing things that make no sense. I maybe, thought, maybe you're not releasing generational trauma. Maybe you're just having a good time and fun is good for you. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that's what's right. happening. Like, you're, you're just like, enjoying yourself. I twerked on some dude at, at, at Tootsie's and now I feel better. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was just Yeah, that. so does he. Win-win, <laughs> dude. Maybe, maybe that was it. This is just propaganda to get yeah. more girls to twerk. Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah, you know what it is. It's good for you. It's thinking about others. Yes, it's thinking about others. Wow, releasing generational trauma all, yeah. that is all, bound in your hips. All you think about all day is you know my struggles, yes. my pain, yes. my depression. Yes, and then when you twerk, mm -hmm. it's 
blessing others. You're giving back I while guess. throwing it back. <laughs> yeah, <nice. laughs> oh, got it. I, I thought when you said when you said, you know how you know when somebody's lying? Yeah. When they have a nose ring. I thought that, <laughs> I thought that's where you're going with yeah, that. Yeah, that works. And the other too. girl does too. I yeah. think they both do, right? <laughs> Hold on, is it, where's the other girl? Why is the camera angle so tight? Yeah, it's well, tight. <laughs> it's like in her face. There's another girl, I think. On yeah, they this, cut to uh, her for half a second. And she has a nose ring, too. Uh, Let's we'll see if we can see her. Yeah, oh, she looks serious. Also, epigenetics. Does do you need to do you need to run the captions with every word? I hate that. I can't stand <laughs> that. Yeah. You're releasing your trauma. Oh, uh, yeah. There yep, she is. Yes, nose ring, ring on the yeah, other one. Yeah, you're right. Two Fact for two on the nose checked. rings. Two for two on the nose rings. Yep. <laughs> I like, I, but is this is this a bit or serious? Is she doing a bit or is she being serious? I think she's being serious. She's being dead serious. I think so. That's why it's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, right, I she think so. thinks that she like knows something mm -hmm. and is better than us because she knows this like stupid fact. Yeah. Is it? Well, she said epinephrine. Who? Yeah. Oh. That's dude. when somebody said, "Hey, God told me to break up with you." God did. <laughs> yeah. He told you. God told me to leave this job. God told you to leave this job. I can't argue with that. Yeah. This girl dropped epinephrine. Yeah. <laughs> I can't argue with that. And she and and what am I gonna say? You know what else she has? One of these. Yeah. That must mean you know what you're talking about. She got a microphone. You know what you're talking about. That's it. Yeah. Have She's you seen immediately any, certified? Have you seen any of those videos that are like that it, they're like clips? I go, this is not a podcast. Yes. You can't find the have you you know what I'm talking about? You grabbed one of these and put it on your this. Like, where can we hear the whole thing? There is no, there is whole, no thing. whole thing. Have you seen the ones where they don't even plug it in? <laughs> Those ones are the best. There's a lot of artists out there who are doing the whole, like, I'm, let me sing you my new song. Yeah. And the thing's not plugged in. No, not plugged and in. And it's like, dude, you're not even trying to make this look like it's a real thing. Well, I've seen it. I've seen it with artists like they are singing, but they're in an arena, mm -hmm. but the audio is in the studio. Right. And you go, this is not this. Sure. Right. Because it's the same tune, or right. it's the same, uh, it's on the same tempo. Right. Or like, I guess Oliver Anthony started it, but a music video is different. Right. So a music video, when you're in the woods and you're playing the song, you're like, yeah, we understand this is not this. Mm -hmm. But now you're just doing clips and you got this <laughs> in your backyard. Right. 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 And you're saying, you're like, are you wanting us to believe that, like, <laughs> that this is that? Right. Like he makes music videos for a yeah, living. He's, he's like, like yeah. he's like, I work with all these people, bro. But, Please but the do music, not put me in this. The music videos are fine. Yeah. Because that's that's we understand that uh suspended reality. For sure. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's they're never live recording. It's not a thing. Yeah. He said, he said they're never live recording. A musician. It's not plugged in. Yeah. For music videos. No, for music videos it is. For social media clips? Never. Yeah, that's never. But for right. music videos, I'm okay with it. Right. Because we we know, yeah, you're playing uh, under Niagara Falls right. or wherever. We yeah. understand yeah. this Led Zeppelin <laughs> yeah. video is not this. Right. But then you're just grabbing these mm -hmm. and you're you're in like your your kitchen. Put the mic down. Yeah. Oh yeah, because sometimes in music videos they don't have a mic. I would say most times. Yeah. But we know that. Yeah. That's what a music video. Yeah, it's a blurred line. Yeah. I wait. I just want to comment that. Is this this? Is this audio this? If it's not, why do you have the mic? Mm -hmm. right. I want to see this. I want to see the podcasts that aren't podcasts. There's a lot of them. Wait, do you think they use the mic though? Uh, I know a guy that's like an influencer that has one of these. Mm -hmm. And he's like at his office. They probably use the mic, but it's still not mic. <laughs> well, where can we hear the whole thing? You can't. You can't. <laughs> that's this is it. Right here. And this is the whole thing. And there's the studio. Yeah. <laughs> this is the whole thing. That's all of it. I respect it. Yeah, twerking is healing. It take sure that, is, man. Take that with you. What's the NBA <laughs> end times? Take that with you. <laughs> What's the NBA end times? Did I send this in? Yeah, this is another one of those, uh, is it real or not? I don't, remember, I don't even remember what this is. Okay. Here we go. Oh, James no. is jersey ripped. And of course... His number is 23, it ripped right in half. Mm. 23 is a number of the Antichrist. Oh. Mm -hmm. And as I have said all along, it is the Antichrist News will attack the United States. And fortunately, we've elected Donald Trump. Who fortunately. Will take on the Antichrist, according to Bible prophecy. Oh. And yep. one of my subscribers, 
sent you, me a, one of my a subs. story Flex. that um, <laughs> another NBA player, mm. his jersey ripped. His number was also 23. And I don't think these signs are accidental. I think America is being warned. We are being warned about the Antichrist. It's not surprising that Wendy Williams fainted <laughs> or saw a demon on Halloween. <laughs> Wait, curveball at the end. <laughs> Wendy Williams catches strays out here? What is going on, hey, dude? Well, Wait, on Halloween? Hold on, whoa. <laughs> All right, real or fake? Real. Andrew? For sure real. Has to be real. Real. It's real. He printed the photos out. And he's in a place where if, <laughs> if this guy, that's what I said last week about the drop it low for Jesus. Yeah. If if they did comedy, we would know. Right. Oh, know this guy. Mm -hmm. He's in his backyard, uh, uh, some kind of backyard. Yeah, somebody's backyard. Uh, uh, somebody's backyard. <laughs> He's in someone's woods. He's in a Republican's backyard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Speaking freely, very freely, very freely. <laughs> yeah. Got uh, something around his neck. And the outfit, he's not, yeah, he's it's not the, joking. The only person who's allowed to wear a cross pendant that big is Rick Ross. Yeah. That's and, it. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> not you. But I will say, I love the turtleneck jacket combo. This no, is a that good. Kinda, that kind of goes This hard. That hits, that man. That's a good hard. look. We're making a video this morning. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. One sec. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, it's kind of drizzly out? Yeah. Oh, my turtleneck and blazer combo. Oh, I got one <laughs> for this. Oh, so you got a, you got a printed out. LeBron James photo and a Draymond Green photo, right? Uh, which which uh, twenty three is very common number, very common number. The number in the yeah, NBA, yeah, that, that, uh, the one. Somebody goes, wait, is this true? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but he's saying because both their jerseys ripped, that yeah. that's a sign. But of listen, end times. we are trying to educate the listener, not just the listeners, the internet. Yes. On all right, so there's so much. We're going to release a video that we filmed this morning, yeah. and you have to look at it yes. and go, is this real or fake? Yes. We and my, go ahead. the best pieces of my content have all been that, mm. that you go, is this real? The ones that blur the lines? Yes. Yeah. And, and what makes me mad a little bit is when I see comics do like, okay, I'm going to do this joke, and you guys all boo. Mm. And then when, and then you somebody throws something at me that I'm gonna it's like oh it's fake yeah, you're acting now yeah it's like a little bit I uh, I'm not one of the Puritans of comedy or whatever but sure. it's like this seems to me too far sure that you've engineered this whole thing before the because uh, you wanted a viral clip right you go this is nuts that somebody came on stage to try to fight that guy going oh it's fake. Mm -hmm. But with all the content you watch on the internet, we have to decide. Yeah, we need media literacy training. That's what we're doing right now. We're and, training yeah. people how to spot the real from the fake. And everybody graduating high school doesn't know how to do taxes, right. doesn't know CPR, but know that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It sure is. Shout dude. out Dill. Yep. Uh, that we didn't know. We can't figure out. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. This is education. Yeah. It's the education. How do we get, what's, is that, that's got to be a category, a podcast category. Education? Yeah. Oh, for sure. We gotta be in that. Yeah, we should be in that. Yeah, we gotta we'll be make in that, that change. Number one. <laughs> oh, Andrew, note that. Let's this make is an that educational happen. podcast. Yeah. This guy's dead serious. Yeah, dude. Why wasn't Michael Jordan the Antichrist? Do you know how much ink he used to print these out, bro? <laughs> That's like probably twelve fifty of ink. That's a great point. That's a lot. That's a lot of ink. And I'm looking at this. Uh, I'm looking at this backyard. He doesn't. I don't think he has twelve fifty. No. He's got a tent with no tent on it. <laughs> what is that statue? What is that statue in the back? It looks like some some art pieces out there. It's like an X-ray machine, which is, it should or that I don't know what that is. He's either really poor or stupid rich. That's what that backyard is. Yeah, it's one of the two. I love this guy. Me too. Shout out to him. Thanks I like for the him. great great piece of content. And now both now both of these have been posted by like like the the twerking for Jesus was posted by like. Uh, world star so, or, or meme accounts yeah, yeah. so they are this like deuteronomy memes yeah meaning <laughs> i think this guy's joke or they're making a joke about it they're making the but joke. he's serious yes yeah he's dead serious about this and the other one was the same it was through like a uh, uh, clown world or something like that imagine if he's right <laughs> <laughs> imagine if lebron james and draymond green team up they're together assembling to be the antichrist and they act like they hate each other this whole time right just to throw us off. all those rivalries mm -hmm. we'll meet you in the finals i want to know what yeah. scriptures he's citing that donald trump is going to be the one to defeat the antichrist 
I mean, we all agree with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. No that. Yeah, yeah, what do you mean? I mean, yeah. all the other stuff. No, you're right, you're right, you're yeah, right. The you're jersey, right. the 23. No, sorry. Two Was times three. Confusing? Two times three? Six. Six. Two times three again? Six. <sighs> oh, I thought we were just saying... No, I'm on board with the Trump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, were you saying you don't believe that? No, I just had a moment momentary lapse. Yeah, because I believe that. I was wrong. Yeah, I yeah, be- yeah. Sorry. Right. That's confusing. For sure. I believe that part. For sure. He is obviously... I just didn't believe the Jersey thing and the NBA. I like this one that says, why do these people think the prophecy is like an escape room puzzle with secret codes everywhere? Right, why? <laughs> like God's just sprinkling codes right. in like, let's see who gets it. Find the prize. It's absolutely <laughs> bonkers to me that many Christians place their faith in Donald Trump instead of Christ. You're reading comments. <laughs> Keep reading, I guess. <laughs> yeah, keep thanking. Yeah. You're like, hey, yeah. just so you know. Yeah. John's He's... reading comments, everyone. <laughs> John's in the comments again. Yo, <laughs> I freaking, I was in that queue. <laughs> Other satanic numbers, just so you guys know. One, oh, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and <laughs> so on. <laughs> I guess I'm just pissed, I think, because I <laughs> was in that pre-sale to get those shoes, and they sold out. Which? The Trump's. Oh, uh, were you? No, oh, dude. dude. Oh. I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, that would be wild, Yo, I got the Trumps. Yo, got the Trumps Who got them? Lucky people. Dang, man. Don't tell me you wouldn't wear those. Dude, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I'd put them right here. Right here next see, to these ones. I'll see if they're on StockX. Dude, yeah, I get a pair. <laughs> uh, let's hit an ad break real quick. Let's sure. Go to, uh, we, yo, we are restocked, baby. Yeah. Blue Land, top to bottom. Refilled. The nice people over at Blue Land. Well, we'll get to that at the end of the copy. Uh, listen, I'm all for self-reflection and rethinking how I can make an impact this year. That is actually true. Yeah. How can I get the Costco card and never wait in this line again? Right. I started, uh, dude, I started, this is before the ad. This doesn't count as the ad. I started brewing my own sweet tea. Oh, okay. I have sugar yep. and then tea bags and hot water in a pot and make it myself because, not because I don't like, because it, it's a gallon. Right. To get it from the grocery store, get it home, mm-hmm. pull, take it out of the bag. Oh, it's you, if you're it's heavy. Have you ever heard that thing? You got to lift your groceries eight times. No, before you get it, so off the shelf yep. into the cart. Yep, into the cart onto the conveyor belt. Yep, off the conveyor belt back into the cart. Uh huh. Into off the cart into the car, out of the car into your house onto the countertop onto the countertop where it goes, and then out of there and. Using to eat. It. So nine times. I don't know how many that was. Did you count that? It was exactly eight. Nice. Was it? You, Mike, uh, shout out to my aunt, Kendra. She told me that. That's so many lifts. That's a lot. Yeah. And if you can do Instacart, you you out seven of them. Mm-hmm. Somebody else does seven of them. Right. If you're that fortunate, you can do that. Yep. So I was like, I'm not lifting a gallon. I'll just make it at my house. Yeah. That's the that's the energy behind Blue. Land. That's what Blue Land's doing. Let's all they have to do all these uh, uh, refillable uh, cleaning products around your house. Yep. Stuff you use. In, water is the heaviest part of that. Yep. You ever ordered like some like bottled water? That stuff is so heavy. Yes. Like twenty four. It's like yeah. There's yeah. a there's a pack right over here. Yeah. It's massive. Instead of go work out, I'll just go to the grocery store. Yep. Yeah. Blue Land, baby, is on a mission to eliminate single-use plastic by reinventing cleaning essentials to better for you and the planet with the same powerful clean uh, that you're used to. Absolutely. The idea is simple. They offer refillable cleaning products with a beautiful, cohesive design that looks great on your counter. Come to my house. You can see it. Don't come to my house, actually. Yeah, don't. Uh, Don't go to his house. Fill your reusable bottles with water, drop in the tablets, and wait for them to dissolve, and you'll never have to grab bulky cleaning supplies on your grocery run. There it is. Ever again. Refill started just $2.25. $2.25. That's unbelievable. We set you up a subscription or buy in bulk for additional savings. Uh, what do they have? They have uh, hand soap. Yep. Dishwasher detergent. Yep. Laundry detergent. Yep. Uh, from cleaning. Yeah, here we go. Cleaning sprays. To hand soap, toilet bowl cleaner, laundry tablets, all Blue Land products products are made with clean ingredients you can feel good about. Blue Land is trusted in over 1 million homes, including mine. Not $1 million homes. Yeah, not one that. million homes. Yes. They're also probably in some million dollar homes. I would think so. Blue Land has special offers for listeners right now. Get 15% off your first order by going to blueland.com slash net positive. You don't miss it. Blueland.com slash net positive for 15% off. I got the like that glass right on my calendar top. It mm-hmm. looks sleek. I got the uh, I got the refill from the laundry tablets. Oh, yeah. 
They smell great. By yeah, the way. I got the toilet bowl cleaners too. Nice. Yeah, I'm top to bottom. That's good. And I do like the it it fizzes up the containers they go in. Too. Yeah, you take them out of the bag, put them in the containers, they sit on the shelf. They look great. That's part of the flex for me, for sure. I mean, yeah, I'm saving, but it's also I'm flex. It's an aesthetic. Yeah, it feels good. Uh, Blueland.com/slash net positive, or click the link in the episode description yes. below. Uh, speaking of aesthetic, yeah, my body. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> Uh, <laughs> manscaped everybody 24 2024 is in full swing and that means check off the new year's resolutions uh with our friends at manscaped baby newsflash it's never too late to level up your grooming game oh yeah manscaped's new lawnmower 5.0 is every man's cheat code to look good feel good and turn the page on confidence mm. oh i feel that a lot whether you're going for a trim or that clean shaven look this trimmer as you cover trusted by over 10 million men. Well, that's crazy. 10 million. Um, now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use the code net positive for 20% off. Here we go, baby. Plus free shipping. Uh, we got the MVP of 2024, the fifth generation. Wow. Lawnmower. It's not just a trimmer. It's your grooming sidekick, baby. It's like having a personal stylist at your fingertips unbelievable in this grooming kit you'll get the trusted lawnmower manscaped uh ear and nose hair trimmer essential aftercare products with crop smoother uh aftershave lotion crop preserver anti-chafing well, we got it all everything yeah and it's also it comes in a nice aesthetic too it does when you deliver this thing it's like christmas morning baby. i can't believe they're on the fifth gen of this i had the yeah. two yeah and i have the four yeah i can't imagine it getting better but they figured okay. it out. They, it's always something new on there. Always. Yeah, it's like the iPhone. Yep. Yeah. Which iPhone did you start at? Uh, I was late. I think I, I started, started like with eight. I think I was eight or nine. Yeah. Yeah. Is one every year or no? Every it was for a while. Yeah. I don't know if it is anymore. Now? Yeah. 15? I think so. I was a droid guy for a long time. Oh, dude, that sense and then I saw the light. Yeah. Uh, get 20% off and free shipping with the code net positive at manscaped.com. Embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer courtesy of Manscaped or uh, hit the link in the episode description below. Yes. We love Manscaped. All about it. Yes. Uh, we shouldn't do the, the pastor. Saves the, uh, we can uh, save that for next week. Okay. We can save cold plunging for next week. Okay. Uh, let's get to the news. Let's hit the news. We got a little bit of news before we get out of here. A little different news segment today. We're going to stick to one topic. And how are we going to set this up? I think brief recap to set the stage. Okay. And then the new developments. All right. So I was in Zanesville, Ohio, uh, what, three weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Three weeks ago? Okay. Yeah. And everybody's like, you know why Zanesville, Ohio is on the map? is because this animal... Apparently, this guy had a bunch of exotic animals. I'm talking about like 50 mm -hmm. Bengal tigers, all this kind of stuff. And this is 10 years ago. It's a cold case. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say it. it's a cold case. I think it's resolved. All right. So I, I start digging into this a little bit. And I'm, I made an Instagram story about the, yeah, Zanesville. I guess you call it the animal. He had a, this guy had a bunch of animals, basically. Right. And one day, they all got out. Mm-hmm. And they said the guy was mentally ill. Uh, he opened up the cages. All the animals ran free. Not and just regular animals, exotic yeah, animals. Exotic Lions, animals. tigers, bears. Bears, oh my. grizzly bears, yeah. black bears, yeah. uh, chimpanzees. Mm -hmm. There was a, a cougar in there. Yeah. I think there was, there was all kind of, I mean, talk about 50. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just basically talking about the story in general. And I talk about, how many things do I talk about a week? Not on the podcast, just it, a lot of things. All day, every day. I just, and I'm like, I was just, I wasn't even really snooping around in the right. town. I just asked the a couple of police officers that were there. I go, what happened? And then I kind of talked about it. And dude, people from this town have come out of the absolute woodworks mm -hmm. to discuss this event. And it's apparently, there's a lot of conspiracies behind it. Right. And again, I, do we have a dog in this fight? Um, I, I don't, don't know, know if I do. I don't know if I have enough info yet. To I don't know one. if I do. Is it, yeah. I don't know if I do. Yeah. So, but there's a lot of people that in this town are now, this case, I guess, has been brought back to life. Yeah. And there's been so, there's hundreds of comments on uh, the places where this video has been posted. Mm -hmm. Um. Because you took it to your Instagram story. I took it to my Instagram and story. And then we also talked about it on the podcast last week. Yeah. 
And so there's a lot of local news accounts yeah, that are, are, are now talking about this. Mm -hmm. And apparently there's a bunch of conspiracies around it that the man, Terry, mm -hmm. did not kill himself. Right. And there's no way he could have killed himself. Right. And this was is a conspiracy. I'm not, I'm not naming any names, but there's so many people that goes, we knew this guy. There's no way this happened. Right. There's no way this happened. And this is not really off track of what a lot of this podcast is about. It's trying to fit, is this real? Mm -hmm. Or is it, or getting getting to the truth of things, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. All the comments on this. So read one. Specifically, of them. Read two of, yeah. publications have picked this up: Zane's Viral and this looks like Y City. <laughs> so I News. wonder what else is going on in Zane's Viral. Really, yeah, right. What's going on in <laughs> Zane's Viral? They've uh, picked this up. The and Panera is closed for the <laughs> afternoon because yeah, what's going on in Zane's Viral? I would love to know. <laughs> they uh, the comment sections are flooded now with hundreds of comments of people saying, and both of these accounts said, "Hey, apparently there's been a lot of." traction on this what's going on a lot of chatter people, people are like oh this comedian which is a little disrespectful to me honestly what do you mean this comedian yeah what's that, that was that the, about? the central attraction in zanesville yeah. on saturday night thank you very much yeah. <laughs> uh apparently this comedian has been talking about it and uh i want i guess i wanted we move on from things pretty fast around here but mm -hmm. i couldn't i'll just read it yeah there's no way he killed himself a good man was murdered mm. I read his electric. I read his electric meter for ten plus years. I think because of his job. Yes. That by the way, not, not, not as guess, a hobby. Yeah, now you just read it. Guess yeah. I'll go read the meter yeah, again. I guess I go read his meter. What's he going on? I want to see those. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a job that'll get you uh, fired up. Mm. Reading the meters at the exotic pets. Yeah. Dude. Where is it? Oh, got unlatched that. There's two Bengal tigers. They're sleeping. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah. We built them. We built the tiger pen around the meter. Yeah. So. Of course she did. <laughs> All right, there's no way he killed himself. A good man was murdered. I read his electric meter for 10 plus years. I had the pleasure of meeting Terry and talked with him on multiple occasions while working for AEP. I had to hike out in the middle of his field. Nice to read the meter. Field where Bengal tigers right. are. Uh, to read his, meet, uh, read his meter uh, monthly on a pole, he let me feed a few of his animals, and I always got the impression that he loved his animals. Okay. Okay. Well. And if there's a bunch of the conspiracy is... Why did he have to cut the chains when he had the key to them? Yeah, the because the story goes, he let all the animals out yeah. and then committed suicide. Yeah. But they're showing there's evidence that the chains were cut with like massive. Why? Yeah, he has the keys to the animals. Ter uh, these are this is all public, so I can read these. Right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, Tamara Elizabeth, top fan of mine, by the way. Nice. <laughs> She has the thing. No, she's right? a top fan of Y City News. Okay, not mine. Okay, this is not mine. Yeah, top, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, she knows. Yeah, she knows. She's a top fan of. Well, she knows Zanesville. Mm -hmm. She's a top fan. She's a trusted source. Yes. Why? Oh, uh, although she's a first and middle name on Facebook, which right. <sighs> mm -hmm. That's like when the guy says the moon landing's not real. It's like, well, why are you in front of a trailer and you're going to look for Area 51 in New Mexico? Why can't you be? Uh -huh. uh, she says. Why would he cut the locks to the cages he had the keys to? Mm. Terry didn't do it. Can't change my mind. Mm. And there's so many people that have commented that. I mean, hundreds of comments. Yes. I, I, dude, there's more here. Like, there's, I just... I, that, yeah. I, I Obviously, I there's do like so some much conspiracy stuff. Yeah, so, so like, I'm, I'm biased. It's but fun also to go down like, this road. The, yeah. I mean, just looking at it, man, I... The lock thing to me is a smoking gun. You got to you got to investigate. Got to investigate. All right, so so there's there obviously if you were living in Zanesville and this guy has 57 Bengal tigers, mm -hmm. you, you you can't let that continue. Mm -hmm. And apparently it looks like Katie Dobbins, Terry definitely did not do any of that. Mm -hmm. And they said, they said, uh, oh, John Chris is a comedian, had a show at the Secret Auditorium <laughs> on Saturday. He looked up the history of Zanesville and found the articles on the information. He talked about it on his Instagram and asked for more information about the events. <laughs> Some guy on Instagram with a million followers named John Christ. That's disrespectful, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Some guy and then butchered the name. Whoa, talk about his on his Instagram. Brandon Davis, I've lived there since 70, but my coworkers say, Girl, the town you're is from is in the news is not good. That's true. Wow. I didn't see a TikTok about it. I just let it go. If you know, you know. Christy. Hey, we need to know. What I, I don't want to okay. 
and there's there's multiple outlets that have discussed that this is not this is not go down the way. And then a lot of people have said, well, it's over. No attention. Nobody cares about this anymore. Right. And I'm saying we're here. Yeah, dude. And if you have any, if you have information, and we should we which should, should we say they're protected? Yeah, we can do them anonymously off of record. Yeah, and where where do what I'm to do? Email? No, DM it to me. Yeah, DM it to me or the podcast. Mm -hmm. Actually, anywhere you see this, chime in. Yeah, wherever you see this, jump the, on it. The email is what? If you want to be anonymous, go to the email. Okay. If you want to just talk about this openly, feel free to in the comment sections wherever yeah. you've seen it. Um. But I th the email is what? Netpositive yeah, uh, at, net at johnchriscomedy.com. If you have information that can that can that could lead to the <laughs> what do we to lead to what? I, I don't think know. lead to the truth. Yeah, John. lead to the truth. Yeah, that's yeah. what we are about the truth. We just want to find the truth. Yeah. Man. What it really happened on that fateful day in Zanesville? Yeah. We have all in all the animals. It seemed like everybody uh, read that one. That was hilarious. This one says, "I was working at Route Forty Roadhouse when that happened. When the the thing happened, yeah. I remember the owner going out and pulling all the barbecue off the smoker. Then all the news crews and caution signs down forty. It legit was scary going home that night. Yeah, <laughs> pull the meat off the grill." There's a Bengal tiger loose in your town. Oh, and the, oh, the smoking half a hog yeah. outside? Yeah, Maybe dude. pull it off the yeah. grill because they can smell that from three miles away. He's been smelling it for 15 oh, years. Yeah, he, does, <laughs> he does exactly He's what like, I, I know where I'm going, yeah. dude. First stop. So, the, yeah, I'm going directly to Amber Wells' house. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. So this this it was not it, it's not in 1960. No, people were like I was in middle school. Or 2011. I, this is man. this is 13 years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's not. It, it, we 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 have uh, photos of it, mm -hmm. and it looked like all the animals were shot uh, in the ca in in the place. Mm. They didn't. They, I mean, there are they did run around. They, look at it. Yeah, it's very Joe Exotic. Very. It's giving Joe exotic, which is different than exotic. Right. This is very exotic. This is very Joe. It's exotic. more Joe yeah, than yeah. exotic. I'm more Joe <laughs> than exotic. Look at that, dude. Yeah, it's a Zane's it's a huge built. compound, seventy three acres. That is big. I wonder what the budget was to feed all those animals. <sighs> yeah, think about how much money that would be. How much meat he went through. Yeah. Uh, well, the, all the didn't Joe Exotic didn't he get all the meat like from the leftover from the grocery store? He was doing some weird stuff because those are like T bone steaks. Yeah, he was feeding them like expired yeah, meats and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was yeah, part yeah, of the problem. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, eighteen endangered Bengal tigers, seventeen lions, That's so eight bears, and other animals. There's. Uh, all right. So basically, the comments are saying that this was a the guy loved animals, mm -hmm. and he was, gosh, that's tough. To oh my guy. gosh! Yeah, we just yeah. found the photo. Of all yeah, the we animals. don't need to say we don't don't show that. We obviously, yeah. but they're all right there. Is what I'm saying. Wow, that's heartbreaking. Yeah, terrifying, and sad. Oh, but if 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 the, the photographer wished to remain unknown, yeah, wow. fair, makes interesting. Sense. Yeah. So wait, what do you think happened? Based on the information that you have yeah. thus far, what do you think happened? Okay. If you are a police chief of a small town, and it is small, what is your biggest threat ever is these animals getting out. Right. Uh, that's all. That's uh, If you have a Monday morning briefing with the police staff, it goes, hey, What's going on at Terry's? Mm -hmm. I mean, you got a guy getting a DUI every once in a while. There's probably domestics, right? Mm -hmm. This has got to be your biggest fear. Yeah. The animal's getting out. Yeah. And somebody, and especially if you know, there, the, the, the conspiracy that we've already covered is that there was some connection with the Columbus Zoo. Right. That they were either giving them or mating them. And they can't keep them at the zoo and either selling them or he was selling. Because they were, Joe Exotic talked about your 10 grand or something. Mm -hmm. You can buy one, to buy one of these off the not black market or whatever. No, it's, it's definitely black market. It's expensive. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you're keeping them, but you can't, you got to move them illegally. Because remember, Joe Exotic was putting them in trucks. Yeah. And like shipping them out to Montana mm -hmm. and like wild things. So if there is something going on where 
he doesn't want to, I'm not saying it's, this is like the animal version of Jeffrey Epstein or something like that, <laughs> that he's like, I need to keep this a secret, but the people that can, that can, uh, indict him are also involved in it. Mm -hmm. So they can't really come over and just take them. Right. Right. Cause it's illegal to do this, right? To, to have, have the thing. animals. Yeah. It's uh, illegal. Oh, it might not be. I wouldn't we, think so. But it is in some states because they say Ohio some was, states, has loose rules. Yes, in some states it's definitely you can't have a Bengal tiger in in L.A. Right, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. So maybe letter of the law wise, he was fine. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that it's not any less risky. And that is terrifying. Mm -hmm. And especially, and it sounded like when the, when the the uh, all the animals stayed there. Mm -hmm. But imagine the fear. He's got 47 exotic animals. What if these things get out? And I think it's like, just like anything else that is like black market. Yeah. It can get sketchy really fast. And I, you're talking about high ticket items here. Yep. A Bengal a tiger. What, let's see. What does a, a Bengal tiger cost? Hey, hey. And also. And I'm on a list. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so were the animals killed at the actual... Like they didn't leave the compound. That's a cat. Yeah, they're, yeah this yeah. isn't it. Uh, well, they, there's like the they, they've been domesticated. The food was there, so, so they, they weren't they weren't actually like I was envisioning that they were like yes. literally running around like the town well, square. Uh, it sounds like no, that did not happen. But that prior that would be the fear. Oh, for sure. Right? Remember like Y two K? Like when the when the numbers get over, everybody's gonna. So then, why did they have to kill them? Why didn't they just like if the if they're just like chilling, just close the gate? Yeah, or like, yeah, like herd them into or not even or an enclosed yeah. area, or if they're already in the out. enclosed area, just shut it, or or if the the ones that have gotten out, those were all there, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a killing all of them seems a little bit extreme. How much to buy a tiger? Is that what you're looking at? Yeah, I'm trying to find it. I'm actually surprised that I can't find That's any like price that, yeah. at all. You know who else used to have a or had a tiger or used to have a tiger? Who? Steve Nash. I remember when I was a kid, Did he? I was like, I wanted to get a tiger because Steve Nash got one. That's a baller move. I wonder if he has it now. All right. So let's say a cat, a cat is three grand. It's got to be, let's just say 10. Has to be at least 10. Minimum. Yeah. They're endangered. In America. Yeah. And the Columbus Zoo. All right. Hey, this is how we're going to leave this. Tell us to leave it alone. Give us information to leave it alone. And then we will. Okay. Right? Sure. Somebody tell us what happened and- We'll leave it. Yeah, I think. I think hey, I'm nervous. We'll dude. come into this. I'm nervous. Open minds. Yeah. Open ears. Open hearts. Sure. Can't lose. No. Bring it. Bring your stories to us. Yeah. If you feel like you have and I facts don't. that are saying there's more to be heard here yep. that hasn't been uncovered, yep. we'll hear it. If it's no, this is matter of fact. This is just actually how it went down, and there's no more closed case. Then then, we'll hear yeah, that. That's what I'm saying. And tell we'll us. Weigh out the options. Tell us to be done, and we'll be done. Yes. Right. Yep. And I yeah. Some people are saying it. it Nobody cares about this. This is a small town. And nobody's gonna know. And I, I'm, I'm popular. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, I, I, we could. You have a platform, John. <sighs> so with great power comes great responsibility. Sure does. But yeah, we're just here. We're just here to find the facts. That's it. We're I just, not, I just want to find the truth. Yeah, and we're not. We're also don't want to be like we're animal rights people. We're, we're not. We're. Oh, to be honest, that's not what I care about at all. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I'm yeah, just yeah. like, let's yeah. figure out and get to the bottom of what actually happened here. Because yeah. it sounds like a lot and of we, people are we, saying it's not that. And we backed into this. Mm -hmm. I did a show. I didn't. I'm not going around looking for it. Right. Right. Yeah, we stumbled upon it. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna get an email this week, and it's gonna be terrifying. Somebody's anyway, gonna be like, meet me outside in five minutes. Look up flights to Zanesville. We're <laughs> yeah, going dude, we're back. Going. Yeah, what if I'm back? I'm going back. I got I'm doing a documentary. Oh man. John, can we wrap with some updates on your trackers? Uh let's wrap them up. Um I'll get it $275 in parking. I got a ticket this week, mm. but I also got a lot of free parking. Okay. So, so still I'm still in the positive. Okay. Uh, I think I'm plus uh, I want to say two hundred and forty dollars. Okay. And it's been it's two months in. We can clap it up for two that. Two months in. That's great. Not paid for one parking, paid for two tickets in a boot. Okay. Yeah. Two tickets in a boot. Yeah. Uh gambling. I did put some gambling tracker. I did put some money on the NASCAR race, but and? um I lost. Okay. But I'm still in the positive. Okay. All right. We'll clap it still up. In the That's fine. We'll take that. Yeah. Look how much in the positive I am how in much? terms of my uh <laughs> you and remind us just for a refresher, you started with how much money? Uh, I started with fifteen dollars. That they gave you. Yeah. No, I put in the fifteen. Oh, you put in the fifteen. Yeah, for church. Got it. Uh, for church, yeah. of course. And then I am currently 
at $155. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. 10x. Uh, In terms of prepping, prepping for the end times, I did one thing. Okay. Bought an atlas. Okay. A map. Dude. Okay. What do you mean? Are we clapping it up for this? If no. you we're just gonna yes. we're not gonna That's, what do you mean? Okay. You said you weren't gonna go any further on the prepping and now, then you bought an atlas. I've stopped. This is where I stopped. Okay. All right. But if if some if you need to get around, mm-hmm. you're gonna want you a map. Mm-hmm. Do you know how to get anywhere in Nashville? Yeah. You can go to the airport with no map. Yeah. And then you can go to Broadway. Uh-huh. Where else? I know Nashville pretty well. Everywhere. All the interstates. Go, go pretty everywhere. Well. Yeah. Outside of Nashville, though, we got problems. If somebody, if somebody, you all you had is a two-way radio, and somebody goes, go to 734 Maine. Mm-hmm. Screwed. No, diff- that's different. Yeah. Well, come find me, because mm-hmm. I got a map. All right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, 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 we'll climb it up for that. Yeah, we'll get it up. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> man. I feel like this is gonna this is going to be a... Uh, uh, a, tr- a transformational episode of this podcast. Let's hope so. And let's hope it transforms the history of Zanesville, Ohio. In a better way. In a better way. And when I come back, we're selling out the arena. Imagine if you There's vindicate, no if you like vindicate the whole like I'm, Terry Thompson nervous, and his family dude. and all I'm that. Nervous. You come back and you're like, the king is back. I got, I got a move key to over the city. LeBron. Yeah, I got a key to the city. <laughs> yeah. yeah, welcome. You can come to the Olive Garden. Now. Yeah. Okay, that's not <laughs> Zanesville. We love you. Uh, net positive. We'll see you next week. I mean, yeah, sure, it was a little weird, but on the net, net on the, on the, it, it, it was a positive, but it was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive.